Welcome one and all to my music channel. I am Daryl Smith, as if you couldn't tell by the name of the channel down there. Um, today I thought I'd try something a little different. I uh, just want to show just a couple of different things that I use to warm up uh, when I'm playing guitar. Because I always feel that, you know, depending on how you are that day, like, you know, if you start playing just straight away, you know, a good warm up can tell the difference as to whether you're going to play good that day or whether you're going to struggle, you're going to struggle a bit, you know, getting through certain things. So uh, I figured I'd show you just some of the things that I do to warm up. Some of them you're probably thinking, well, duh. And some of them you're, think you're thinking like, oh, that's actually quite a cool little warm up. And uh, I'll give credit where I can on where I got some of these warm ups and some of these, you know, I just do them because I just think they're really good for warming up both your hands and getting the blood flowing. So. We're going to get you started with something fairly simple, so let's get going. Number one! So, one thing I always find that really helps to get things going is just doing something simple as funk strumming. So, funky, you know, just kind of the kind of... So, you know, if you do something just as simple as that, you know, it helps to get the wrist kind of loosened up a little bit and it makes it for really good in the way for really good for you know picking and stuff like that so here's my little uh, warm up for you to try out at home so you just go with this kind of rhythm so that kind of rhythm and then you just want to kind of maybe fluctuate the speed a little bit but always start slow so just something simple. It's also really good for your left hand because, you know, you're having to kind of go between holding the notes out and then, of course, deadening the notes. So. And then, like I say, you fluctuate the speed. So. So yeah, that's one of my, usually my kind of go-to first thing to do when I'm just picking up a guitar and just trying to warm up. Number two! So number two is another fairly simple one, but one that I think is really good because it, it gets your fingers kind of stretching across the fretboard. So it's just going for, in this case, let's go three, five, and then seven right here so one two three so three and then all right so three with your index finger and then five in my case i would use my second finger and then you go for the seventh fret with your pinky finger and you just you just run that shape up and down the fretboard so something just simple <laughs> So it's not really like, it's not following a scale of any sort or anything like that. It is just a case of getting the fingers kind of nimble and just getting yourself nice and warmed up. So we'll try that again. Not the most appealing sounding one, but once again, just a good way to get things flowing. Number three. Of course, running scales is always a great way to get things going as well. The one I think is really handy is just running the chromatic scale because it gets you moving you know, up and down the fretboard in multiple different ways. And it just kind of covers, well, all the notes really. So we'll just use uh, the B chromatic scale as an example here. So in this case, you know, starting from the seventh fret down here, and then you just kind of make the shape of four. So you just go one, two, three, four, and you just keep making that shape, but going up one fret at a time and one string at a time. So, so like that. So. <laughs> So just something as simple as that, really, once again, 
just this one is more about movement and also string jumping so so just picking four notes on one string four notes on the next and so on and so on and so on so that's really good to get precision going and it's also very good for just letting your fingers just kind of do the walking you know just letting them walk up and down the frets number four this one i give credit it's actually two people, but I believe it was originated from one a particular person. It would be Misha Mansour and Tosin Abbasi. I was watching this video once of Misha Mansour. He was talking about well, warm-ups, and this was one of the warm-ups he did. And then in another video, I was watching Tosin Abbasi, and he did the same warm-up. And if I'm not mistaken, it goes that Tosin showed it to Misha. So now I'm showing it to you. So basically, this warm-up, actually I'll put it on a clean sound because it's not the most uh, pleasant sounding warm-up. It's basically a stairway shape, so you're kind of taking, just going... I call it a stairway exercise, basically. You're climbing up and down. And basically, so in this case, let's go from the 8th fret up to the 5th fret. So we start an 8th fret on the E string, and then we go to the 7th fret on the B string, the 6th fret on the G string, and then the 5th fret on the D string. And then we're going to work our way down. So we go, but then we work our way down that string, and then we go backwards. So we go from the 8th fret on the D string to the... 7th fret on the G string, the 6th fret on the B string, and then the 5th fret on the E string. So we go like this. And then once you've done that pattern, you then want to then go to the next string and do the same shape until eventually you just run out of strings. So we go like this. And so on and so on. So that one's really good because once again, it's not really uh, so much as like playing so many notes on a string this time. This time it's pretty much just one note per string and it's just about string skipping, you know? And then when you have that one point you'll then play four notes on a string and then you go back to string skipping. So it's just about going up and down and up and down. So that's another really good warm-up and I use that a lot to get myself just kind of focused and f concentrating on the picking and also just Getting my fingers going on my left hand. And that's really all the kind of warm-ups that I really use, you know. With the chromatic scale one, you can use any scale you want, pentatonic, whatever. Scales in general are just a good warm-up. And uh, for all the other ones, you know, just try experimenting and stuff like that. With the funk shape, you don't have to stick to those two chords and whatnot. You can even try adding in some 30-second notes. So so something like So like, you know, stuff like that, you know, just to kind of get the wrist going even faster and just add another percussive element to your playing. Thanks very much for watching this video. Uh, if you want to see more kind of tutorial style videos, then let me know. That would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more reviews, then let me know as well. And you could also check out some of my other videos. And uh, also don't forget to subscribe and uh, like my Facebook page which will be down in the description. And also don't forget to check out my latest EP which uh, should be down in the description below as well. So thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you later.